Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is finally out and features much tougher battles than what you might have played in the demo. I've also found some interesting tech that will be extra useful for those of you who want to get really deep into the intricacies of combat. So this will be the premiere of a few neat Age of Calamity tricks. So here are 6 combat tips that will help you tear through the battlefield. If you're throwing out stasis willy nilly and using the stasis auto animation, you've got to change your ways. While using the stasis to counter a stasis weak attack is a good natural application of the ability, the most powerful part of stasis is the potential to extend weak point time and create more stun. You capitalize on this by dashing after you perform the stasis to freely do any action after freezing them. While some weak points last quite a while for you to wail on your opponent, some just last a second or so, which isn't enough time to crack it, so use stasis to extend that time. This application is crucial to extending combos, gaining more meter, and reducing the enemy's freedom to fight back. Unfortunately, not every character has the ability to attack on their own during stasis. Daruk, for example, is unable to follow up. But for characters who can, this is incredibly powerful. This can even be tied to user-created weak points, forcing your way through an opponent's weak point at any time. You want to be cracking this weak point as much as possible, as weak point smashes are the highest damaging attacks in the game, and enemies on very hard mode are very tanky. So do not underestimate this technique. For all of you who know me, I like to find secret combat tricks that might be pretty nifty in a fight. Here's a couple that I found with a couple characters. I coined the Urbosa Float Cancel, which is executed while airborne and attacking. By tapping your ZR charge midair, your attack count will be reset, allowing you to continue attacking in the air. This flying Urbosa trick will continue to headshot most enemies while being out of their attacking range and still doing damage. It is possible to get hit with certain high attacks, but this technique dodges most ground attacks while dishing out damage from above. I also found a unique technique with Rivali, which I named Rune Sliding. By doing your Flight C4 combo and timing a Sheikah Slate ability perfectly, you can slide along the ground at breakneck speeds. Depending on your rune of choice, some slides last longer than others, but whichever one you choose, the utility changes with your speedy movement, and during the entire length of the animation, you are completely invincible. This can be handy for approaching pesky ranged enemies, or possibly even speedrunning. Age of Calamity doesn't really explain how rods work all that well, so I'll break it down in depth because it is important. Elemental rods create weak points at any time if you're having trouble creating an opening, but the type of weak point and the size of the blast depends on several things. First, to get it out of the way, it's important to note that rods that attack enemies of the same element have zero effect. So obviously, don't hit an ice enemy with an ice rod. Second, hitting enemies with an element that is weak against, fire against ice, ice against fire, automatically do a critical weak point, which is extremely powerful weak point attack that creates a longer lasting and more fragile weak point gauge. Third, and most important, is the power and size of the blast depends on the terrain you hit. You can see this when hovering your fire rod over grass to dirt. Fire on grassy areas, lightning on metal or water, and ice on water, increases the blast range and forces a critical weak point, even those who are not normally weak to them. So always pay attention to your surroundings and take advantage of the terrain you're on. Most characters in the game are able to fail a Magnesis if nothing metallic is around. Well, you might think that's stupid, what's the point? But actually, this is arguably one of the more powerful techniques in the game, because it almost cancels any action you do, and also gives you complete invincibility at any time without using any resources. You can perform this by simply pressing R and B with no metallic items in range. In situations where a regular dodge is difficult to do, you can use a Magnesis Cancel to dodge damaging attacks or cancel out of long animations you want to get out of. You'll want to keep in mind that this varies from character to character, as some like Zelda are unable to do this technique at all, while others like Impa are able to spam this quickly over and over. And also, if there are metallic items around, you'll do your regular Magnesis attack, which for most characters is pretty underwhelming. But, when the situation is right, Magnesis Cancel can be very clutch. Some attacks such as Guardian Lasers have a blast hitbox that are hard to dodge and can't be parried with other characters, so keep this in your repertoire to pull out against deadly foes. I don't usually like to promote easy wins, but it's hard to ignore a character like Impa who is 100% triple S tier on this tier list. She can nearly infinite enemies solo, control crowds, and stun everybody around her while doing so. It's possible in the future that other characters may have some hidden potential that will place just as high on a tier list. But the demo is pretty telling of Impa's powers, and in the endgame, with more powers unlocked, I have to say she's even more of an absolute monster. If for some reason you're having a hard time with this game, you can lean on this Sheikah Pain train to carry you through a rough mission. I can go into a detailed explanation of why she is broken, but it's not really necessary. You can just see from the footage here. <laughs> Thank you. 
This technique can help out in a pinch if you're really having a tough time parrying and dodging. By alternating the slate and wand menus, you could put yourself in a perpetual state of slowdown, which can give you much more accurate windows to dodge and parry attacks. Some attacks have strange hitboxes or animations that speed up or slow down, so if you need a second to study and watch when to counterattack, you can use this little trick to assist you with timing. So there are your 6 tips to help you with many battles you will have in Hyrule. And if you have any more tips, post them down below. We're always looking for cool stuff to find in Age of Calamity. Thanks for watching.